Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of K-pop Discovery Wheel. What this is all about is music and discovering brand new artists. This whole thing started because I wanted to extend my musical experience in terms of the music that I consume and I was not sure where to start because I only listened to soloists before that point and also K-pop, K-R&B and OST singers and I wanted to check out some groups but I didn't want to go the typical route and just check out the popular ones that I knew of by name but not listened to the music before. I didn't want to miss out on some underrated artists that has an amazing uh, catalog but then I won't check them out because I wanted to focus only on the popular ones so what I did was that I googled the most popular k-pop groups I put them in the wheel the most underrated newly debuted debuted uh, a decade ago and I took all of them and put them in a wheel and every single time I do this episode I will pick three um groups to check out at random and um as much as i am taking in a new music i also want to recommend you guys songs from my personal favorite artists that i already listened to and that i wish would have more exposure and some of them i are really popular some of them are not so popular and i just want them to have more exposure out there and tonight i'm going to be discussing my first experience listening to dreamcatcher stray kids and astro as well as as recommending you guys three songs that are part of my old my favorite list that i want to share with you guys i have been saying countless time on this channel that for me music is meant to be shared so as much as i want to listen and learn about all this those amazing new artists i also would like to share the ones that are are, are already close to my heart and that i already love a lot so my first recommendation of the night is going to be so me's out of my head Sansoga of Sasumi Makua, Titali, go baby, go your yam to Nato, Simjang in Nadi, and Maka me, I'm the Munjai, up they go. Do down they go, what they got that, to Jerry and the baby is you, not them ninger. Sorota not that tries and always a pendagi shimen of Temekoya. Out of my mind, Neganya, jump, jump, my body got on, she does in there. She wants a ticket, some look up a table, make a kind of thing that I'm the tail. In the money, see me on good head. I need a day, I need a day. I'm a stringy, no more than me, and I'm on the baby cage. I just can't get you out of my head. Can't get you out of my head. Can't get you out of my head and my mind and my body in every way. Can't get you out of my head. Can't get you out of my head. Can't get you out of my head. Oh no. Your money's so good, though. Can I get it? 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 Solo tan nada, try to know it's a pendo que si me aquí go ser ya. Out of my mind, me gana, jump, jump, my head. Body go on, she does it there. So she wants to be a day. So look up, what's he gonna be? I can't let that down on the table. Crazy, can't get you out of my head. It don't get none of the day. I put up 
오빠 나의 더 깊게 빠지면 안 돼. 어색한 사이가 설레긴 하지만 더 이상은 더 And that was So Me's Out of My Head. Um, it's a song that I love a lot. So Me is not an artist that I feel like is not known, but rather she's not appreciated enough. She's often questioned criticized for everything from the song choices that she makes the 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 way she looks all those unnecessary things um i'm not saying she's perfect she has a flaws like every other human but i feel like she gets picked on a lot and sometimes she gets picked on for things that are really not necessary but as an artist she has some songs that i really appreciate and and love and i think she's one of those artists that just needs um a change in management in general because if for me personally i think if more resources are put into her and really like have I haven't seen her have a proper era where she really does brand new things like she will do brand new mixed with stuff that we already know but I just want her to have a full experience of her just doing her own thing and I really I really appreciate the artist that she is and this song in particular is one of the song of one of her songs that I really liked so the first artist that I checked out and I discovered for this episode was Dreamcatcher. I listened to their Nightmare album. There were al albums before where they had a different name, but I wanted to start with the first album on the Dreamcatcher, and that was Nightmare. And something that I would say is that I love the vocals and if you've been on the channel long enough you will know that vocals get me. Once you get me by the vocals there is no way I won't check out more from you and for that reason before I even tell you about my favorites and all this other stuff I will be listening to more dream culture every single Thursday starting next week. This album felt like a Japanese anime OST. I, I watch quite a lot of anime and this just reminded me of those openings and it was quite um, beautiful and really, it's such a strong debut. Not really debut because there were Minx, I think that was the name before, but now this album it's the first one on the dream catcher and i really like that album i really really liked it so my favorite out of the entire project was emotion
만난 지난 기억들에 스쳐배어지겠지 만 혹시나 그곳에서 널 마주하게 될까 괜히 한숨을 푹 쉬고 보니 네가 보였던 거리에 덩그러 자꾸 생각나 시간이 흘러 지금까지도 조금 더 참으면 덜 emotion by dream catcher and yeah <laughs> i really love that song i love the vocals and i love that the vibe they are they have it's a little bit different than the girl groups i've checked out so far and i'm really interested and invested in them like i said every single thursday from next week i'll be checking out a brand new dream catcher album because i just want to see where their sound go are they going to keep making this dreamy type of music because the album is called nightmare but the songs in the album do, don't feel anything like the title so i don't know if next time around it's going to be uh, a nice title with creepy creepier song or i don't know what's going to happen but i'm so excited um i just want to hear more from them i was convinced by the vocal convinced by the song so i just want to hear more from dream catcher it was a beautiful first experience and i want i am excited for what's to come And the next artist that I checked out for the first time for this episode was Stray Kids. But before we go there, I have my second recommendation of the night, and that is betting. <laughs> Just wanna scream the all day. Yeah. Yeah. 
Rose painting by Shido and PH1. And it's another artist, artist, as artist with an S because I love both of them. And I just enjoy their music so much. And I really would like it if you guys could give them a try. If you're not listening to them already, if you listen to them already, let me know in the comment what is your favorite song by them. So the next artist that I checked out was Stray Kids. And it's another um, unique group. <laughs> I think that this is what I like with the way I'm going about this and picking them at random. Because I never know what group, what vibe I'm going to get next. And Stray Kids came really strong out the gate. It's like they have a unique... Um, way of making music that is completely different from any every single group that I've checked out before this point. Um, the the energy, the sound, everything that they do, it's completely different. It's than all the rest that I checked out, and I was really surprised with the type of energy and sound that they came out with. The sounds I could. I could understand where they were coming from, but it's the energy. Their energy is very special. They have a special type of energy that is halfway between. I'm talking about with this album, things might change in the future. Um, of course, I'm going to listen to more of them because now I'm intrigued and I want to see where things go. But they have an energy that is between youthful and then aggressive but not but not aggressive to the extent that is scary but aggressive cute <laughs> i don't know how to put it in a better way but it's like you know your little brother acting tough this is exactly the type of vibe that i have that i had listening to the song cuz they still i don't know if it's because they are quite young at the moment that they made those that album that i feel this way but their voice it sounds so youthful, but the energy that they come with is so, so out there, so strong, so high, so aggressive. So the clash of this is just the result is so, so intriguing to me that I just want to hear more and see where it goes. And um, it's really there were a lot of hard hitting songs on the album but in terms of my album enjoyment overall i would say it's a 50 50 for me there are songs that are not my vibe but i could still see where they were coming from and then there are songs that i really like on the album so i have a top two on this album and my second favorite is yeah 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
그래도 다 달려들어 두꿈 너를 향해 와 흔들리는 동공을 감추지 못해 내 열정을 모두 exactly what i meant by they, they they give this like youthful vibe but the music is so uh it's like aggressive but like in a cute way not in a uh a weird like scary type of way and it just the result is just so crazy because now you are smiling because it just feels so youthful so fresh so cute but the song is just up in in your face so it's really um really i don't even know what how to qualify <laughs> the the feelings that you go through listening this for, to the song but i really like it the, another thing that i would also really like about the song is the contrast between the rap part and the vocal part cuz like you come from this hard eating up on your face up to your face type of rapping and then you get into that smooth vocals afterwards so that contrast is contrast is just it's it's really nice so the experience listening to it is like you're coming from this high point and then it just ease you into that chorus and then you go like to hardy thing and then it goes back again so it's really nice it's like riding a wave so it was a really nice feeling My favorite on the album was Spread My Wings. Don't 
지켜 더 좋은 것은 눈 벌리는 거에 그치지 않고 넌또 그들여 이런 수도는 인척다 큰척 다른 의미의 척척 박사가 되었지만 막상 눈앞에 다가오리 표정이 벙쩍 사기 시작 전에 어, 책다 챙겼을 때 그것도 무겁다면 하나 소화 전에 다 내려놨었는데 어른이 되는 심어져야 하는 건몇배더 무거운 책임 준비 안 된다는 걱정이 백임 내 나이대로 살래 naturally 내 나이대로 살래 내 주리 That was my favorite from the album, Spread My Wings. And something that I really liked about the song is that I just love the energy. I just love the way the song makes me feel. It's just you won't be bored listening to the song. And this type of song is totally up my alley, totally the type of songs that I would love. And I love that they take... um usual styles of music but just give it that striking twist and i appreciate artists that do that a lot there's a couple of groups now that i've been checking out more groups that do that do a specific sound but do it in their way and i think that's for me that's the best way to come come about music that make the sounds your own If I am able to be in a in a room and can pick out that this is a stricted song, then for me, you achieved 90% of what you wanted to do. Because, yes, doing the same thing, we might love a, a specific trend, a specific type of music, but at in the long term, you, we're going to get bored. But if you can be able to still do the stuff that we love, but Put your own unique twist to it. It's always going to be, f always going to feel fresh. Always going to feel unique. And I really like the song. I I love the song a lot. I will be checking out Stray Kids every single Friday, starting next Friday, because I want to see where they go with the song. I want to see. What I'm going to feel with the next album is it still going to be 50-50? Is it going to be the best album that I heard in my whole entire life? And I don't know. I just want to hear more from them. And that's all I wanted to say about them. It was really a nice experience listening to them. Another group that is unique in their genre. And I just want to see where this journey takes me before i move on to the next group that i checked out for today i want to make my last recommendation and it is the lovely yolin say my name yeah. I'm not your day up, bitch. We a paddle got a dream truck got you slow down. You wanna say my name, say my name, yeah. You wanna say my name, say my name, yeah. You wanna say my name, say my name, yeah. You know, you know, you know what to do. Can't come on, get out of, get out of, baby. To go, get go. Watch me walk. 
Say my name. I think Helen is an artist that is really underrated for my liking. Like she's not appreciated enough. Um, whenever she comes out with new music, I I feel like the focus tends to be on um, of course, and also the music videos play a role into that. But she never gets appreciated to the full extent of her talent. For me, it's my personal opinion. Things might look different from person to person. But even when talking about best dancers in K-pop uh, female-wise, she rarely get mentioned, but she's an amazing dancer. And she's an amazing vocalist, an amazing artist. And I think it's time she gets her flowers. And she really makes that, like music that a lot of people can appreciate and i love her for that say my name is one of the songs that i really love um it used to be my favorite of hers but it has been dethroned <laughs> by the latest one so i just hope more people get into her she makes amazing music she has amaz an amazing discography and i will really encourage you guys to go and check her out on that note moving on to the last group that i checked out for this episode it was astro man was this an experience um out of all the group that i checked out this is the first group where i listened to the debut album i loved all the songs there but not love them like i adore those songs and i don't know what is going to happen with the rest of the music now because they have set the bar so high that i wonder how they are going to top this album because this album is immaculate this album is perfect and this is their debut project can you imagine the level of <laughs> the level of like i don't even know how to 
properly convey my thought at the moment that like, I was floored like I was so shocked that I could love an album so much and that was the first album from them and I was I immediately fell in love with them and I can tell you that I will check out more Astro every single Friday starting from next week but this album is amazing and the title of the album is Spring Up and you can feel that fresh vibe springy vibe throughout the songs on the album it's just full of fun energy the vocals are are amazing and like i say i fell in love with them on the first lesson and for that reason i want to highlight three songs from the four songs <laughs> that are in that album if it was not because of copyright i would have played the entire album but i can only play it so much so i want to highlight three songs and I want to title them three reasons why you should also fall in love with Astro. And reason number one, my third favorite, is Hide and Seek. Seek my third favorite on the album and reason number one why you should fall in love with Astro. This is just complete good vibe. You're going to have a good time from when the song starts to when the song ends, and this energy is just amazing. It's like 
just positive vibe all around you're having fun it feels like really does feel like spring and the vocals are amazing i've really loved that song and i knew this is the first song after the little intro in the album and i knew from that point on that i was going to love this group how much i was going to love them then um really came about after the next song that i'm going to play and this album was so good that i felt like it should be shared with everybody um really astro they did the thing on this album and i'm so scared now that uh, about the next album because i'm going to go into them with so much high expectation because i had such a good time listening to this album so reason number two why you should fall in love with with Astro, also known as, as my second favorite on the album, is Morning Call. Hello, everyone, your mind is filled Live inside my heart 처음 본그 순간부터 어떤 곳에 있어도 I think about you 어느샌가부터 욕심나요 더 가까이 지내지고 싶어 부탁해 기적을 바랄게 너로 인해 잠을 second favorite the second reason why you should love astro this song is 180 percent my vibe i love it for, i loved it from the get-go and i knew at this point i wanted to hear more from them because 
this is the type of music that I love and it's the music that I was missing out on that time that I was just confining myself to my own little circle of music and those type of experience and feelings that I had while listening to the artist and specifically Astro is the reason why I started this whole thing to begin with because I just wanted to have new music to listen to and this album those songs they are just amazing and I don't know how you can listen to songs like this and not fall in love with them but reason number one you should fall in love with astro my personal favorite on the album is first love first love my favorite on the album this song is amazing and it i heard it and it became part of my all-time favorite um songs already from the first time i listened to it and i love the song so much i i really loved listening to astro and i hope that you give any of the artists that I played 
tonight a chance. I've made a playlist with all the songs I've played tonight and all you have to do is click on the link in the description box and it will take you there. You can listen to any of the songs that I played tonight and form your own opinion and I really encourage you to do so because you never know what amazing experience awaits you listening to brand new artists. And that was it for me tonight. I am so excited for what is to come. Um, the music, the sound, everything that the artists that I've listened to tonight are going to do. This is the second episode in a row where I listened to the artists and I enjoyed all the artists from the get-go and really wanted to check all of them out. Um uh, it was a blast, really. This this time around, it was a blast. And man, I would say that my personal MVP this episode is definitely Astro. They left such a huge impact on me just with this one album. And the song, this song is so amazing. It's it just it's been on repeat i love astro i want to hear more from them i'm so scared now for for how i'm going to feel about the other albums but let's see when we get there and that is it for me today i see you next time for another episode of k-pop discovery and until then i wish you a wonderful weekend